Hi, Alishama once again, and once again, another El Chipo <laughs> quad in my hands with the DYS uh, 2217-800kV motors. Actually, they are mid-quality motors, very, very powerful. You have to respect their power, I would say. And uh, again, running DYS uh, mid-level, I mean, mid-quality ESCs, running 7K firmware on them. Uh, this is a 450 and we prepared with NASA V2 and this time uh, you can see I have a 2.4 GSZ data radio on it. So what we're going to test is the NASA V2 or DJI's new upgrade on NASA V2 to fly full autonomous flight 16 waypoint using iPad GCS running Google Earth Maps, 3D Google Earth Maps. So 16 waypoints, click and fly to a point, auto return to on one key takeoff, flight telemetry and fly with iPad and lots of cool, cool features for autonomous flight with NASA V2. Now, if this is gonna be that good, who is gonna buy WKM? But anyway, we'll talk about that thing later, what DJI was thinking about releasing the 16 waypoint features. Now, I have watched a couple of videos online, among which was one of the very, very funny video that made me laugh a lot, where a guy was actually testing on 450 DJI F450, the NASA V2 autonomous flight features. Heat sets up about um, three waypoints, and the way he was saying, I, I, <laughs> you got to watch that video for the time, uh, for the moment when he says, I, he was really painful when he was saying, I, because every time it goes, his quad goes crazy, he goes like, I. So yeah, his quad went crazy a number of times before flying <laughs> the waypoints. It actually goes to the waypoint one, two, and three. And after that, he had his final I, and the quad went crazy and crashed. <laughs> you have to listen to his I. <laughs> so I hope I'm not gonna do the I here, but I'm gonna do ooey or ouch, maybe. Uh, let's see how the DJI has a click and fly to a point or 16 waypoints or three waypoints autonomous flight will go with us here today using the iPad GCS and that is the reason I prepared this El Chipo quad because if this crashes I'm not gonna cry all right so let's set it up okay now the iPad is running and the Bluetooth data radio is on the one thing I like about iPad and the data radios on a DJI control is that um, you can actually you know do the setup even run the assistant program so I'm feeling that uh, the gains on vertical are a little bit higher so I'm gonna put them to 120 uh, percent because the quad is jumping up and down okay and write it down now pitch and roll 120 percent and uh, rest is 125 percent which is very very good and <laughs> we are connected it's time for I and OOE. So I'll run the ground station. And uh, he says that turn on the Wi Fi for the location accuracy. Well, I just don't know if the Wi Fi is going to work here. I mean, Manual. and it shows my quad is really far somewhere on, on the river. So this is, this is one thing that I worries me if I should really try it or not. Let me turn on the Wi-Fi and uh, see if it's gonna work or not. Let me make a Wi-Fi hotspot using my cell phone. Hold on, stop recording. Okay, this is very, very strange that our aircraft on the map is very far over there on the river and we are here sitting on this little area so if i press one key takeoff is my aircraft gonna go over there because that's the home point there anyway i'll try one key takeoff and i will quickly switch to manual if something happens here we go one key takeoff i'm holding my radio and ready for it all right it's holding there and one key takeoff again All right, so, so far there is no IE or UI, but I cannot see. All right, my iPad controls are here. Let me see if I can fly with the iPad. If something goes wrong, I have to throw my iPad down and pick up the radio.
Hey, look, I'm flying with iPad. Whoa. And yo. Okay, Mary's gone home because uh, it's taking too long. Now, I have actually figured out what's happening. Um, at the moment, as you can see, it shows my quad is somewhere over the river. So basically, that's a huge deviation because the updated map is not being downloaded even using the Wi-Fi that is on my phone because it's really, really slow. So what I did was just tested three waypoints right where I am, right where my aircraft is. And my aircraft actually did all the waypoints really really nice and good so let's give it a try one more time okay um, I'll hold the camera this way so you can see me and the camera as well anyway so this is the iPad running the GCS alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the uh, uh, three waypoints click and go I will shoot later so let's say I will first delete all of these waypoints all right and i'll set the new ones by uh, going here to the pattern and let's take a triangle or square pattern let's say four waypoints all right and keep them right where i am okay bear with me you cannot you see all the reflection but eventually you can see it what i'm doing so I'm going to make the radius really, really small and keep it right next to my quad. Move the waypoint one right in front of the quad. Okay. And if anything goes wrong, I'll switch to manual anyway. Now I would say yes and select all. And I will put the alt altitude to 20 meters. Okay, select all, altitude to 20 meters, and speed to 3 meters per second. Okay, make them adaptive instead of uh, hold and turn or just set to none maybe. And done. Alright, okay. So I'm going to edit them once again. Put them... Oh extremely close to each other okay number four because that's the maximum zoom I have here now much better no I don't want the fifth waypoint All right, I'll put number four even more closer, number three even more closer. Okay, all right, and uh, I'll select all, and this time put uh, 25 meters and a speed of three meters per second, done. Okay, put my quad to GPS position hold mode and go. <sighs> now I will put the throttle to middle and hold my radio here. All right, she's going again. 25 meters this time. And she's going to the waypoint four instead of waypoint one. And she turns 
is another quad, another hexacopter, possibly the DJI S800 crappy. Uh oh, okay, now my quad came to the first waypoint, going to the second waypoint. I have 14.8 volt battery, so still plenty of battery. Now quad is turning to the third waypoint. You can see she's turning to the third and going to the third waypoint speed and everything is good and there is my baby and she turns to the fourth waypoint now there comes the hexa but we are focused on my machine all right now she's standing there and coming back to point one because it has done it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click go home all right, where is it? Right here, home, go! And my machine goes to the home point. Uh-oh, I'm losing it. There she is. And the battery is blinking red. And she's coming down now. Land, come on! And she's landing now. After my quad is landed, I should scare him away. and turn off the propellers we are safe now all right now the ground station is giving me warning on 15.1 voltage my quad is back so uh, basically as you can see we are actually here but on my map the quad is here so basically a huge deviation on the map so I have no idea why uh, possibly I need to download the Google cache Google Earth map cache and uh, or get a nice 4G or 3G for my uh, iPad so that we can actually get the updated maps but I would say there were no I ooh, there were no such thing at using the iPad here Everything worked as it advertised. The quad flew nice and safe. It followed all the instructions that I gave through the iPad GCS and it actually followed all the waypoints safely and came back and landed safely right over there. And my Bluetooth is sitting here. X Aircraft Super X in the hex is here. Let's go pick it up the quad with DJ NASA V2 autonomous flight system now uh, we flew the autonomous flight successfully on this 450 and now I can safely put on the DJI NASA V2 and fly full autonomous on all of my machines like 650s V2s and other machines so there is no eyes or ooze here and before I actually turn the camera off and go home call it a day I would say that all the only flyingmachines.com aerial filming drones uh, that actually come with DJI NASA V2 G GPS systems. You can now fly full autonomous 16 waypoints flight, click and go features, one, one key takeoff, one key auto return to home and land, and all uh, flight telemetry, flight by iPad. Uh, you can do all of these things on all OFM machines that are using DJI NASA 
MGPS V2 system. Uh, all you need to do is buy the uh, data radios and um, Bluetooth unit that comes with the data radios actually. So basically you just buy the data radios. You don't have to buy CAN hub unless you want to use iOS D Mini with DJI NASA V2. So if you just buy the data radios 2.4 GSZ Bluetooth, they come with the iPad GCS. You can use the iPad and fly full autonomous 16 waypoint flight on all OFM machines that are using DJI NASA V2 system. Let's conclude this. Um, this El Chipo has no use for me, so I'm gonna put a NASA light on it and go for some super fast flights around just to have fun. Or I'll just put this machine for sale for those who are looking for a cheap and nice quadcopter for aerial filming with brushless gimbal upgrade. Enjoy and I'll keep you posted what's coming next. Next coming up, uh, motorbike, brushless motorbike pulls out sweet wheelies. It's not a Sky RC motorbike, it's the motorbike from BSD Racing Shenzhen. And also I've got the new Red Cat Terramoto truck, electric, brushless. Time for bashing, coming up soon. Thank <laughs> you.